Why, hello, Rexy. It's been a long time since I've seen you in the dev kit, but you know what? You're still looking stunning, and I'm only saying that because, one, you are the ugliest freaking creature ever, but you can eat me in one bite. So, you look fantabulous. Hey, you guys, what's up? So today, we are in the ARC dev kit, and we're checking out some cool things, like the Giga Laser having animations, a tech assault rifle. Shit, yeah. Uh, these things right here, this is... Uh, let me get into these first, actually, because I don't know much about them, and you guys probably do. I have my own speculation, actually. Uh, so this was called the Tech Bone Helmet, Rex Helmet thing or something, and it's not textured, but it's probably some kind of, like, tech skull or something. Like, I'm assuming it's for the tech tier, just like we have bone helmets, like the Rex Skull Helmet. Maybe if we kill a Tech Rex or something, it'll give us that, and it'll be, like, blue and glowy, and it'll be, like, the tech equivalent to the Tyrannosaurus Rex Skull Helmet, or, like, the, the Trike Skull Bone Helmet or whatever. And then this was the saddle thing. Now, I think this is actually just a piece of, uh, of the bionic creatures themselves. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe this is the way maybe this is a skin for a saddle. I'm not I'm not sure either, but it's still in production, obviously. There's no texturing, no nothing going on with it right now. Anyways, enough about the tech thingy majigger, yeah. whatever that is. We move on we're moving on to the Giga Helmet. Now, the Giga Helmet is the laser shooting helmet, obviously, that everyone's come to love and adore and is super hyped about. And these are the animations here. So this right here, uh, I can't remember the animation because I'm stupid. Um, but it's 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 something. I think this is like an aiming animation or something. I'll I'll figure it out in DevKit anyways. Uh, this is the idle animation when you're just doing nothing. It's not even powered on actually like this is when it's not powered on then this is when it's powered on so you can see these laser cannons that are at the very bottom of the helmet actually perk up and they're just like yes we're we're right here good sir ready to ready to sell car insurance uh this one right here is when it's shooting so i mean i'm 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 wondering how this is gonna work is it gonna shoot like big um like plasma things at things or like is it gonna be like little beams i have no idea maybe it'll be a concentrated beam like i don't know maybe this right here is a concentrated beam that's just shooting down <laughs> i don't know and then i wanted to get a close-up of the giga laser for you guys just to see and uh, i know you guys don't like it when i move around too fast so i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a slower look at this so you can take some time and take some of the detail in and uh, all of that stuff. Guys, I'd like to make mention now that things on the dev kit may not be the appropriate size. This might be too big, this might be too small. I'm not entirely sure on how it works on the dev kit, but I think they usually oversize things. Um, but from what I've seen so far, things seem to be pretty accurate in scale uh, with the research that I've done on it. But yeah, these are the uh, these are the tech lasers and all that fun stuff. I wanted to move on to this guy now. This guy is the Megalosaurus. I think I watched a documentary on this guy a little while ago, actually. Um, I remember. I'm not even gonna go into detail. It's not even. It's not even. Never mind about it. <laughs> Anyways, this is the Megalosaurus, and um, right off the bat, you can see its size compared to the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Well, it's not very mega. Like it's the size of maybe a Carno or the Allodicosaurus, maybe. Guys, you guys are usually like the dinosaur experts, and you can teach me a ton about different things. So teach me about this guy. Give me some facts. I know he's been in the dev kit for a little bit, but I just wanted to show you guys again because, well, I uh, I wanted some facts on it. That's basically it. I just wanted to know about it. Um, this guy has a roar animation uh, being worked on. We can see it right here. So he's just roar, roar, meow, and something, you know, whatever. Borf, borf, he's barking. Um, this is just walking forward. This is his running animation. So he's all out sprinting, you know, going for the hills. Um, let's see, that's his bite, and then this is another bite, obviously, I just duplicated it. Now, some information on this guy on the dossier is that his bite, when he bites onto you, he is not going to let go. It's like a dog on a bone. It's- what the- what the- hang on. Borf, borf, borf! <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. But yeah, this guy is like a dog on a bone. When he bites down on you in the dossier, it states, he will not let go. It's just not going to let go, and it's going to it's going to hold on. It's like a poodle that wants to hump your leg. It just latches on, and no matter how much you kick your leg, it does not let go. This thing is also nocturnal in the dossier. Like, I, I, I could either read the dossier out to you, or I could just give you a sum down of, like, the important stuff. And this, just so you know, these are the important things that I pick out from the dossiers. I don't want to drone on the video and give you guys stuff that you probably don't want to hear or already know. Um... Like that statement. <laughs> but anyways, uh, this guy obviously latches on, all that stuff. He will gnaw on you until you die, uh, unless you're like a Tyrannosaurus Rex, which in which case I assume the Rex could fight it off or it's just not big enough to latch on. 
Um, or it's too big to latch onto, sorry. And uh, it's also a nocturnal creature. So it hunts at night, and in the, day, in the day, if it's, like, awake or woken up, it'll be sluggish and stuff. So I'm expecting, like, sleeping animations and stuff for this guy. Like, I think all dinosaurs need sleeping animations. They should not be out wandering. It would add so much more immersion just by doing that. The next thing we're taking a look at, this guy looks like he saw me naked. He's just like, what the shit, man? What have I just seen? I've seen some shit. I've seen some shit, boy. <laughs> this is the Caprosuchus. I might have said that right. Might have said that wrong. I probably said it wrong. Holy sh shit, that is loud. That scared the shit out of me. And <laughs> that's pretty fitting because this is a jump scare creature. Um, some things about this creature here. I'm just going to show you the animations for, first real quick, actually. Here's running and all that. Apparently, it's fast on land and even faster in water. This is uh, when it's eating, you know, yum. Mm, yeah, that's that's pretty good spaghetti, yes. And uh, this is just him idling away, just like kind of over here, except his jaw is open here. Now, this guy is a jump scare creature, so what it does is it hangs out in the swamps. You're going to find this guy in the swamps, and uh, it hides. And then when you get too close to the water or you decide you need a drink, well, it's just going to say hello with its teeth extended out and probably biting into your neck. Nothing too serious. It's a pretty nice greeting if you ask me. And uh, on top of that, when it bites you, it drains your stamina. So if you get bit by this, well, you're probably going to have a bad time if you're not on anything because you're probably not going to be able to run away from it. I just wanted to do a size comparison of this thing right here real quick. This is the Sarko, the massive, uh, I'm not going to say crocodile or alligator or claim because I can't remember. Even though you guys told me, I can't remember. I have good reasons because I have bad memory, I guess. I don't know. But this is <laughs> this is the, uh, the Sarko in comparison to the size of this little guy. And uh, yeah, big difference in size. And I was going to ask you guys, like, how big is this guy compared to the Sarko? And well, I just decided to spawn it in and show you guys just for the people that don't know the answer to that question. So Sarko is considerably larger. Sarko is probably considerably stronger because this guy is supposed to have a very weak frame. He's not, not going to have much health, guys, but he makes up for it a little bit in the fact that he's fast on land if you tame him, fast in the water if you tame him, and he does decent amounts of damage. Here is a swim animation right here doing all that fun stuff here is his attack animation i think this said it in the water but this doesn't look like he's in water and then here's his oh wait no maybe in the water yet yeah, because his hands are kind of weird and then this is his attack when he's uh on land that's a really vicious that's like a thrashing attack i need to see something with a death roll guys we all know uh, is it crocodiles or alligators? Maybe both of them. I know one of the, one of the two do a death roll for sure, and the death roll they grab onto you and they spin around and they rip your limbs off and they do all kinds of fantastic, lovely stuff. Either way, let's move on to this little guy. Ray, shit, your teeth. Whoa, God. Oh my God. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> That was kind of scary. I don't know what was scarier. The fact that I saw your teeth or the fact that I shit. This guy right here is the. Diplodica, Diplica, Di, Diplo something, okay? The Diplo something. This right here is the Diplo something. There we go. All right. It's just going to be called the Diplo something. That's what I'm going to call it. Either way, this creature has a unique feature, and you can kind of see how it has, like, the saggy skin around its head and stuff. This is a giant airbag, basically. It's not very, like, threatening or anything. Like, it's not going to really do much to you, even though it has a ton of sharp teeth that probably feel like a heroin addict's needles jabbing into your arm all at once without the the disease and stuff but regardless this guy has like an air bladder or something on its head and people take these things down with them into the ocean and uh use them to stay under the ocean they're like a they're like a, a living oxygen tank if you if you think about it that way it's kind of a disgusting concept um, I don't really want to suck on a creature and inhale whatever stale air is stuck inside its body. That's, that's, actually, I'll probably make it sound more disgusting than it actually is. But you guys get the idea. It's, it sounds gross, and, uh, it's, yeah. But what we do know about this thing is it's going to be very skittish, and it's going to run to environments that you're not native to. So if a Tyrannosaurus Rex over there sees this guy right here, this guy's going to say, oh shit, and run to the water over there. Or if there's a Megalodon in the water over there and it's in the water, it's going to say, oh shit, and run on the land because the Megalodon can't get it. Whatever environment it is not native to, or you are not native to, it will go to. And if you're native to both, well, I guess that thing is screwed. Um, I spawned some of these guys in right here just to show you what they'd be like in the water, but they're not really doing doing anything like they're not oh, don't want to fall off that they're not doing anything like they, they were supposed to do swim animations and stuff and they're not they're not they're not they're not yeah they're not listening to me either way i wanted to move on now to this right here the main feature in my opinion 
This is the Tech Assault Rifle, people. This thing looks absolutely stunning. This rifle, it has like double barrels. What is, what is this? Is, this might be an attachment. Maybe this, maybe this is like an, a, a futuristic grappling hook? Maybe it's a shotgun. Doesn't have a second trigger mechanism, I don't think, does it? No, no second trigger mechanism. This has a trigger right here, though, so it has a classical gun feel, but it has, it has two barrels. And I think that, what's this? That's just, a, that's just a screw. That's not a light, is it? That's either, oh, I think that's a flashlight. I'm pretty sure that's a flashlight attachment. Yeah, I think that might be it. You guys let me know in the comments section below. But either way, double barrel. I don't know if this is an extension or an add-on. I think, like, I think it would be cool if you could, like, put a shotgun on these things and have, like, a secondary weapon attachment or something. Um, obviously, it has a futuristic screen right here. So it's kind of like Halo almost. It's going to have a screen right here. You have your buttons down right there for different things. The stock is looking amazing. I actually... Ooh, that's the magazine there. I wonder what kind of, what kind of bullets is it, is it going to use. Like, when we, when we think about tech rifles, guys, I'm thinking not just normal bullets. I'm thinking aiming up the sight, shooting a bullet, and the bullet explodes. Explosive rounds. I'm thinking fire rounds. I'm thinking tracking darts that can shoot through the, uh, from this thing. I'm thinking like laser laser plasma beams that shoot from it. Just epic, crazy ideas, guys. I I am seriously so hyped to see this game or see this in the game. Like it's going to be incredible. I'm wondering if you can like change the colors on this gun. That would be so cool. But what I was going to say is that I have the sound files for this gun, and I'm going to bring them up in just a second so you guys can hear them. It's very different. Guys, like I said, this stuff is in development, so I can't guarantee you this is the final product. They might change it entirely, but I can give you what I currently have at my disposal, which is, well, this right here. So as I promised, right here I have the sound files, as you can see. I'm going to start playing them, and uh, we'll just go through all of them. I'll give my opinion on them, and then, uh, yeah. So that's the normal fire right there. It sounds like a futuristic, it's like a futuristic, I, I think there's going to be a plasma bullet coming out of this, guys. I seriously think there's going to be like some kind of plasma gun. Or maybe it's very unlikely because it has barrels, but maybe electricity will arc between these two and it'll shoot like a, an arc cannon or something. I, I don't know. Here's the impact of the bullet hitting whatever. Oh, that's fancy. That's really fancy. Impact two. That's a little bit fancy. What, what the shit is this? All right, here's impact three. A little bit of like an electronic feel and four. Ooh. Maybe this is a, I'm not sure what one would be a hit and what would be a miss. They're, they're all so different. I don't know. Hmm. Either way, that's enough on the tech rifle. You guys definitely give me your feedback on this beastly gun. Holy shit, this looks great. But either way, um, I wanted to move into something else and this is completely off topic. Uh, I was looking through the game files and I found buildings. These are actually called buildings, and I don't know what to make of it. Like, they do look like buildings, kind of. This actually reminds me of a structure in World of Warcraft. For those of you, those, for those of you who actually uh, play World of Warcraft, if you play the Alliance uh, and you see, like, the North Shire Abbey or whatever, that's what this thing reminds me of. And then this tower right here with, like, pillars and stuff. I don't know if I don't know if this is just for boss arenas or anything like that. I just wanted to add this in here so I could ask you guys another question, whether or not uh, you know the answer to it. Well, it's up to you. But um, what are these? Are these like? Does anyone have any information on them? I don't know if it's like for upcoming expansions, maybe some kind of futuristic building for the tech tier. I don't know. I'm I'm completely at a loss for words. I don't know what this would be for. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash the crap out of that like button so I know you want me to keep up with the ARC dev kit and uh, continue doing this video series. Let me know what your comments are about this. Definitely, guys, this tech rifle, this is groundbreaking. This is some crazy shit. I'm really excited to see what you guys have to say about it. So let me know, and I will see you in the next video.